Hey, how's it going, guys? Um, Albert, also known as TradeAD, the counter trader, um, here to talk about a couple of scanner tools that we could use. Um, you know that in the description below that I am affiliated with Trade Ideas. I've been using Trade Ideas for maybe 10 years now, and for me, it's the one to go to because um, it just has been evolving with me throughout the decade. But I met somebody, Tim, from Volatility Trading, where he uh, introduced himself and told me about um, Intensity Stockwatch. And I wanted to try it out to see um, what it was like in comparison. Um, just to recap on my history, um, I've been trading for about 20 years now, over 20 years, and uh, on and off. And uh, in high school, I used TC2000 and for swing trading. Now, I also used it a little bit for day trading. It didn't quite work out for me. I've used eSignal, um, and, uh, and I went to uh, Trade Ideas, and I never went back to look back to any of the other types of scanners. Now, recently, uh, I've had a lot of newer traders wanting to, in, wanting to have a scanner but not invest because all of these scanners require a membership or a subscription. So that's when uh, I had a friend, Sonny, on YouTube uh, reach out and show me how he made an RSI, a re remedial RSI scanner off his Thinkorswim. With Thinkorswim, you could just, uh, you just uh, fund it with a small amount of money. And for me, it was $50. And I was able to get Benzinga, the charting from uh, Thinkorswim, or TD Ameritrade, I mean. And, then, uh, and now I'm using the scanner whenever I'm bored. Um, of course, I'm still using my trade ideas as my main, main thing. But just to look at the, what Sunny made just using the RSI is pretty cool. Um, especially when it doesn't require a, a subscription. So it is probably the, the cheapest way to have something, to find something that's overextended. RSI meaning a relative strength index. That means that uh, if it's over exaggerated, it's going to show up on, the, on your scanner. So let's just go over um, the pros and cons of these three. Mainly, I would just wanted to cover the intensity stock watch because um, it's things. It's a relatively new scanner, and it seems to uh, do a pretty good job, especially out of the box. Now, that's the major pro when it comes to scanners. Scanners generally don't fit the bill um, for because there's there's so many different ways of trading. Um, you can't just simply just open up a scanner um, and have it work for you. Um, it can be quite overwhelming, especially with uh, trade ideas. So let's take a look at. Uh, what we got here with Intensity Stockwatch. All right, so here is the Intensity Stockwatch uh, webpage, uh, intensitystockwatch.com, and here's the home page showing a little uh, overview. And um, the thing about Intensity, they have this ideal intensity indicator, um, ISW-I cubed. Um, it's proprietary, um, it's a price action indicator, and I tried it out and it works pretty good. But overall, um, let's just look at the memberships. There's two main memberships. There's the Platinum and there's the Elite. Now the Platinum has everything, obviously, because it's the Platinum. And this one has the chat room and um, all of the scanners. So basically it says $230 a month, $229.99 divided by 31. So they're going by 31 days. But you know we don't work 31 days as day traders, I don't think. Um, there is a fall 2019 so I guess this coop this code has been around since 2019 to get the second month 50% off so 50% off um, you know uh, would have been 115 um, for the second month so that's the platinum and then the monthly is three dollars 87 cents or a hundred and twenty dollars a month so this one I don't think has a yeah according to this uh, screenshot it doesn't have the the chat room now personally when i tried it out the chat room is just um some people talking about their trades and stuff um you know for me i don't really like clutter so i don't like noise or anything like that i just want to focus on my own trades and do my thing so um it works out for me um i will use my own chat room um or not my chat room but my friends jeremy newbies uh, newbietrading.com and because we're a lot of us are like-minded so we're always looking for that parabolic move the ramp and volume and all that stuff so to this probably will fit my criteria a little bit better the elite instead of the platinum because i won't be using their chat room now from here i see that they have the the i3 scan but the one i was using during the trial period was ultra scan so i'm hoping that the, the elite has the ultra scan 
because that's their that's their best one. So this one, um, I don't know if it actually has the fifty percent off the second month, but it's three dollars eighty seven cents. So I'm assuming that's um that's after that's actually for th if you count thirty one days. Um, not bad, in my opinion. So that's the price for this one. Now with um with trade ideas you have two options not just monthly you have yearly as well so of course um, if you're tr starting off you're most likely going to do the monthly but well, the monthly it says 290 um, I honestly don't use the premium because I can't seem to get the AI now the products if you go I'm jumping the gun here but you can check it out yourself in here they have the AI artificial intelligence where um, they have this uh, Holly try to help you out try to find trades honestly I never used her um, I tried I was given the chance to and I couldn't get her to work my way I've never really had to use the premium trades I use the standard one because it fits my needs better it says it's two ninety dollars a day and that's without the um, the promotion or the um, affiliate link that I have in the description below but overall you know it's not really two ninety you can't pay per day it's monthly so you can subscribe for a um, thousand sixty eight plus that fifteen percent off or the monthly is three ninety a day so that's 118 so how do they do that math so 118 divided by 31 is actually 381 so they're actually doing that math out of 30 days instead of 31 so overall in the end this is uh this is cheaper overall let's take a look at what i've been dealing with when i actually used it and alongside parallel with my trade ideas. So here's the first day right here. And you can notice that um, I'm using the ultra scan here. So here are my main charts that you see me go um, stream with you guys. The counter one, counter two, the small caps. I have a halt and I have a ripping up. I don't have the ripping down or surging down because I don't really do bottom bounces as much as I do um, top reversals or counters. So solo, if I don't have the alerts on, but if the intensity stock watch, and these are the ultra because it says plus, plus I3 ultra scan. This is the ultra scan, the, the, their best one, proprietary one. They don't really tell you what's in the formula, but in my opinion, it's very similar to mine, except mine are fit for my parameters. You can change the, you can go into the menu and change the volume and such and the, and the minimum maximum price to get, to weed out some penny stocks if you wanted to, or the really expensive stocks, but more or less this works rather well so you see right here if it colors in orange then then the i3 i cubed is going to be exceeding 20 if if the i cubed the intensity indicator exceeds 20 it'll give you a beeping sound mine is turned off but you can see here solos on the top of the list and you see it just popping surging on up this way also if you look at my trade ideas solo is up there as well it's already marked right there um, as as a potential trade but you see right there how the ultra scan has lost solo because it went down but with mine it stays there because it it just it just does it doesn't get rid of stocks that quickly unless it run out of the room um, another thing you can notice is that the ultra scans or any of the scanners other than a few other ones um, on the on the intensity they don't show the time frame so you have to see it fast now if you were looking away and you look back and you didn't have the alert on you may have missed out on solo because it's not there anymore but it's still on the trade ideas and it's potentially going to keep going um, maybe so you can see right here that the the ultra scan is is constantly changing so for some people especially if you're a scalper um, that's a good thing um, but to some other people this could be uh, a lot of noise so of course mine is set at a de default I didn't really change the volume so a lot of times these these volume it may not be where where I need it to be uh, you just notice TIGR and TIGR is on my ripping scanner you guys hear that beeping sound so I'm looking at the the menu here I don't see NIO anywhere and it is NIO does look good right here so both of them have different things going on inside the, their parameters 
And of course, because it's proprietary, we won't really know what's going on. And NIO is pretty much done. NIU did show up on my scanner right here. So you can tell that there are some similarities and there's obviously some, some differences here. Um, so when it comes to this, like I said, I spent like 10 years um, changing up my trade ideas while the ultra scan is out of the box and you can't change anything about it except for the volume and the price and maybe the the alerts and, and simple stuff like that they won't tell you what's in the intensity proprietary parameters so that's a plus and a con uh, depending on how you see it but overall I would say it's a it's a go it's a it's pretty good um, if especially for people that don't know how to how to set up their scanners because trade ideas can be a, a hot mess when when you're trying to set it up honestly take a look at all these alert types I mean just looking at that is is pretty uh, uh, pretty scary and then they'll explain to you all the alert types I do like the fact that they have pictures <laughs> rather than just using words um, there's wedges there's a you know there's there's the three bar there's all these different ways of doing it. and they even have a heartbeat right there just to make sure that the the stock is still alive so it's, trade ideas is really cool like that except it's it's also really scary for people that don't know the ins and outs right so just a there's a big difference between the two um intensity works right out of the box um if you're a counter trader it works really well it, it actually does i can actually probably get away with using that and not my trade ideas um, but you know I've been using trade ideas for a long time it's not like I'm going to switch over now if I were to change anything on intensity to make it a big winner it would be to make intensity linked to my platform meaning if I click on a ticker on the intensity I should be able to just um, have it directly show up on my platform to make things faster but thinkers um, with uh, trade ideas it's already set up that way I can have an external link and have it link directly although it does have issues linking to my uh, thinkorswim platform being a, uh, the new kid on the block I would assume that intensity stock watch should be a little bit cheaper than than trade ideas which is pretty much established so overall guys that's my quick rundown of these three scanners mainly two scanners the thinkorswim is just um it's just a way to get by um the trade ideas does have these promotional trial periods that you should just try to to um get on their website and sign up and then they'll let you know when there's like a two week free trial then contact me i'll send you my scanner parameters and try it out see if it works out for you also this week i've been um, streaming my scanners for you guys if you wanted to see how it works out for me and so far you know today's been a this week's been really good for me i've been up i think i'm up about three thousand i'm not sure um close to three thousand this this week and uh yeah i mean over 50 percent in my opinion is finding the right stock to trade and if we can find the right stock to trade then it gives us enough enough leeway to counter rather than trying to find a really tight move and then get in too late and then you know get stuck in something if it doesn't go correctly so yeah that's that's pretty much it guys i uh, just wanted to sh share that with you um thanks for all the likes and subscribes it's really helping out that youtube algorithm um yeah overall i do this for fun i like i like helping out especially in, during this time when there really, there's really nothing else to do and it seems like the world is falling apart it makes me feel a little bit worthy to be living here <laughs> so thanks for uh thanks for all the support guys and i'll try to make a video soon about um how i trade because it seems to me that how i don't trade or what not to trade is also coinciding with um with the question of uh how what are all my parameters and it gets lost in the in all the clutter in the videos that i make so i'll try to make a, a more concise video of what i'm looking for because there's just too much there's just so much information so yeah get on live stream if you have a question i'll answer it the best i can that's those that's the best way i feel like coaching is easier but but yeah i will try to my, do my best to to scaffold and break things down so you can figure out exactly what i'm thinking all right take care guys i'll see you next time bye